Seems like it's almost two weeks since I've made a video and I am like going bonkers. Time is crazy, okay? You know, my daughter, she's starting to try to walk around. She's moving around a lot more than she used to, so it's a little more difficult to um, get videos done because I have them always after her. So anyway, today, I've done a look called Purple Splash with Splash Cosmetics. Yes, 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 yes. I absolutely love those pigments seriously I have a video that I'm gonna do if I haven't done it already I don't know which one I'm gonna post first this one or the um, the review because I want to show you guys all the colors um, that I have that are amazing like really okay anyway so I did this look with Splash Cosmetics I will list everything that I use in the information box there there I don't know where or I think it's down there now because yeah it's a new format so down there in the um, I guess you have to click on info or it might type down there I don't know what this new format I don't know so um, yeah I'll list everything there and I will try to post this on my website I'm so terrible with that you guys I'm really horrible at keeping up with my website like the blogging part I suck Okay, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get better. So this is the look. I hope you like it. If you want to know how to do it, keep watching. It's right after this. Hey everybody! All right, this is the look. Purple sponge. Just trying to give you guys a close up. Let's get started. I'm gonna use the LA Splash Eyeshadow Sealer Base. Great base for these pigments. Absolutely great just get that in there I put way too much you only need like two dabs with the sponge I put like eight nine ten and um, yeah that um, we're, we're gonna use purple sponge <laughs> moving kind of fast just get that on the lid pat it on just the inner half or the first half of the lid this is uh, starfish plum we're gonna go ahead and place that on the other half of the lid just pat it on. Patting reduces fallout. So just get that on. Okay, we're going to go ahead and blend that line out so it can be a nice, smooth, transitional color. And just patting. All right, I'm adding some more of the starfish plum. I'm taking it up a little bit, just right at the base of the brow bone, just to make blending a little easier so I can spread that color out when I start blending. All right. Now I'm adding black tuna. I'm going to get that with my blender brush. Love this brush. It's my equivalent to the 217 love it get it in there all right I'm just patting it in because this is a pigment and I'm gonna blend that out oops <laughs> all right now go ahead and blend that right along with the starfish plum we're mixing those two together kind of and as you can see I'm having a little difficulty blending the the pigment doesn't want to move because I put too much of that sealer base on okay you only need a little bit and I put like nine dabs on there and so it's making me work a little bit harder to blend but it is blendable so don't let that deter you just don't use as much of it as I did okay I went a little nuts blending it out with my blending fluff brush love this brush 
This is Fuchsia Fusion, the next color. I'm just placing that right above or and on top of that uh, purple color or the plum color. Rather. Adding a little more black to the crease just to even it out because I was having an issue. Because I placed shadow on top of it, um, it's making it easier to blend that crease color out. Okay, so there we go. Much better. Yes. Blending is key. I'm sure you've heard this a thousand times, but blending is key and the right tools. I used to work really hard at blending because I was using like the wrong brushes. I mean, being real with you guys. Blending <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> that sounded goofy. All right, this is an elf color. Um, 81103, I believe, is the number. There is no name, at least not on the back of my pot. Placing that as a highlight, it's like a vanilla shimmer color. I love it. I use this um, quite often as a highlight, along with my Vanilla Sky by NYX. Those are two of my favorite highlights. Just getting that in, blending and softening out that line between the pink and the highlight. Take it down a little bit just to soften that up and add a little brightness to that inner corner. All right, this is my NYX Automatic Eyebrow Pencil, just filling in the rest of my brow. Easy and simple. I'm telling guys that some of these new products I have, I'm absolutely in love with. All right, this is my chisel smudger brush. I'm going to grab Starfish Plum and I'm going to place that right in my lash line leaving the inner corner alone because I'm going to add another color to that pat that on remember this is a pigment so we're patting first and then we blend all right now this color is called sunkiss gold it is a peachy pink golden color that I absolutely adore. I adore them all, can't you tell? So we're placing that in the inner corner. Pat that on real good. You guys can't really see it. I don't know. My camera just makes me so sad sometimes. <laughs> Alright, so we're just placing that in the inner corner and the tear duct. It gives it such a beautiful pop, like seriously. I don't know, hopefully you can see it in the pictures or you saw it in the pictures earlier in the clip. That's it. All right. I'm gonna add a little more to the other side just to make it even. You can kind of see some of the coloring of this eye, but I guess the light is hitting um, that I am working on a little different. All right, this is a black gel liner. You can use any eyeliner you want. It doesn't have to be gel liner. It can be a pencil. It can be liquid. Just make sure you wing it out a bit. Okay. I'm going to get that on. I'm going to line the top and the bottom. And the next clip you'll see, I'll be done with my eyeliner. Now I have placed my lashes on. These are red cherry lashes. Okay, I forget the number. I think it's 600. And we are done with the eyes, you guys. You see that inner corner pop? I love, love, love Sunkiss Gold. It's beautiful. Now I'm just applying um, Seduction Lip Gloss. This is a color that I carry um, at my store. And we have completed the look. There you go. Loving it. All right. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.